talk so bad at intros. <laughs> you watch my raw footage, it's just me going, hello everyone! Hello everyone! Hello everyone! <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and today I'm going to be talking about five luxury bags at or under the $1,500 range that I think are totally worth the money. Let's be real, like designer handbags, luxury handbags, they're crazy expensive. Even $1,500 is a lot of money. But I think that these bags, you do actually get a lot of bag for your money as opposed to some of the more really expensive bags that the price just keeps climbing up and up and up. You're just not getting that much for your money. So I wanted to share these bags that are around or under $1,500 that I think are totally worth the money if you're looking in that price point. And these are brand new too, not even at a pre-love price point. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first bag I wanna mention is probably not gonna come as a surprise to anybody watching this if you are into designer handbags or have an Instagram or anything like that. Um, the first bag that is under $1,500 that I think is totally worth the money is the Prada Re-Edition handbag. There's no way you haven't seen this bag or some version of this bag on Instagram. Brought back, you know, the under the shoulder 2000s kind of look. Um, there is the regular re-edition without the strap and then there's the re-edition that's got the strap and the accessories on it kind of it reminds me of the multi pochette from Louis Vuitton even though it's not really like that at all but you get what I'm what I'm seeing in that right this bag is under $1,500 I think that just the bag comes in around $800 and with the strap and all of that stuff comes in around $1,300 I know what some of you're gonna say it's not even leather it's nylon and yeah, I, I do get that in a sense. You're paying for a nylon bag, you're paying $1,300 for a nylon bag. You might be thinking like, that's absolutely crazy. And in a sense it is. But when you're comparing it to other bags of that price point, I think that you get a lot of bag for your money. I think it looks really cool and trendy now, but I also think that because it's something that was a big thing and then came back in such a big way that it'll have staying power, kind of like the Fendi baguette. Um, the Fendi baguette was huge back in like the Sex and the City days, Carrie always had one, and then it went away for a while and then it came back. And even though it was trendy and it came back as a trend, it has staying power because it has that longevity. You can look at a picture of the Prada bag in 2005 and you can look at a picture of the Prada bag in 2021 and it's gonna look just as cool either way. I think it's a really decent size and if you get it in the black, it goes with a lot of outfits and kind of an added bonus about the fact that it's nylon is you you can wear it all the time. You can wear it in the rain. You can wear it in the snow. It's really a worry-free bag. So for the price point, I think that you really can't go wrong with the Prada re-edition. The next bag that is under $1,500 that I think is just totally worth it, I honestly don't even know why I don't own this bag at this point, is the YSL Toy Lulu bag. My goodness, is this thing freaking adorable, okay? I haven't actually seen this bag in real life. I would be interested to look at it like size comparison between that and and my Pochette Matisse. I love that envelope style bag. I think it's super cute. I also think YSL is probably like, besides maybe like Chanel, the classiest of all designer handbags. Like, I don't know, something about just like the lines and the quilting and that YSL hardware, it always looks so chic and so like grown up. But also like you could wear it like with anything, like you could take it to a fancy party, but you can also take it to the grocery store. I love that versatility about YSL and with this bag in particular, I just think it's super cute. I think it gives you a great bang for your buck. You can wear it as a crossbody. You can actually, if you wanted to, take the straps off and use it kind of as like a big clip clutch kind of I feel like that would be almost reminiscent of like the Bottega bag um, the cassette bag I might be making that up but like in my mind that makes sense yeah like I said I genuinely don't know why I don't own one of these bags yet I think they are adorable I think that they would be a perfect everyday bag you fit everything that you need in it it would go with everything if you're looking at for a bag at that price point I definitely recommend the YSL toy Lulu bag so cute the next bag that is under $1,500 that I think might be totally worth it for you it's creeping up there I feel like within the year it's gonna be over $1,500 when they do another price increase but it is the Louis Vuitton Alma BB bag the Alma 
such a gorgeous classic shape. I think it looks fantastic in the monogram. It looks fantastic in the Damier Abin. I think it actually looks better in the Damier Abin, in my opinion. I just love the dark brown leather. I think it's a really great bag because even though it's small, it definitely fits a lot. You can fit your essentials in it. It's never going to go out of style. The Alma shape has been around for years and years and years and years, and there's a reason why. It's gorgeous. I think that if you're looking for something super classic, it's definitely worth the money. It's probably the most worth the money Louis Vuitton bag, in my opinion. This is another bag that whether you get it in the monogram or you get it in the Damier Bean, it's gonna go with everything. You're gonna be able to wear it with all kinds of outfits. It can be a perfect everyday bag. Definitely jump on this bag as soon as humanly possible. Like I said, the price has just been creeping up and up and up and it's at $14.80 right now. It's just something that I would definitely jump on while it's at the price point right now. Like go, go buy it. I'll wait. By the way, if you're enjoying today's video, if you love luxury fashion, if you like lifestyle videos, if you like just hanging out with someone who talks a lot and usually has a drink in her hand, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button below, ringing my bell. I start making two videos a week and I would love to have you here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and interrupt myself here. Um, when I filmed this video the other day, I was sitting at 79 subscribers and I went into this whole thing about how I was going to do a giveaway when I hit 100 and, you know, maybe consider subscribing down below. And as I'm sitting here editing, I have 99 subscribers. So I decided I'm just going to go ahead and kind of prematurely announce the 100 subscriber giveaway. I cannot even believe I just started this YouTube channel back at the end of February and to have 100 people want to subscribe to my channel and like watch my videos is just just like mind-blowing I cannot believe it so so to thank you guys for being here I bought something from Louis Vuitton that I'm going to be giving away do you want to see it so the giveaway prize is this Louis Vuitton monogram card holder so cute right I kind of like it came in the mail and I was like I kind of want to keep this for myself but no I'm going to be giving this away and to enter it's going to be really easy you just have to go over to my Instagram at Emily Shack with two A's and like this picture and leave me a comment I guess leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite luxury designer whether it be Gucci, Louboutin, Prada, whatever just leave me a comment let me know which one that is and that will be your entry into the giveaway you don't necessarily have to follow me on Instagram but if you do like <laughs> I would appreciate it I'll leave it open for a week and then I'm just gonna use a randomizer to pick someone and I will send this to you right in the mail it's legit from Louis Vuitton you'll get the gift receipt and everything that goes with it and yeah, I just, I really appreciate all 100 of you for, well, I guess 99 right now, but all 100 of you for being here with me. So this video is going to go live on Sunday, April 25th, and it will close and I will choose the winner on Sunday, May 2nd. So yeah, that's it. Go ahead, go over to my Instagram now and enter, enter, do it. It's free. The fourth bag that I'm going to talk to you about today, it's not really for me. This is for all my tote bag people out there. If you want a really great designer tote bag under the $1,500 price point and you're really not into the Neverfull, honestly, I think the Neverfull might be more than $1,500 at this point. I'm not completely sure. I would suggest going with the Gucci Ophidia tote. What's it called? Let me, let me double check. The Gucci Ophidia GG Medium Tote. I love this tote. I think it is so stinking cute. I'm really, really obsessed with the brown Gucci monogram. I think it's really, you're probably gonna think I'm crazy, but I think it's kind of underrated. It kind of got pushed out by the Marmont GG in terms of like Gucci and the house. And then it's also underrated because when you think monogram, I feel like a lot of people just gravitate towards Louis Vuitton. But I think it's a great, gorgeous bag. I think because it's kind of underrated, it can also be understated, even though it is kind of logo mania. It's got that gorgeous Gucci webbing. It does have the Gucci GG. I think that it's maybe not as big as the Neverfull, and I know it doesn't have a flat bottom, so that might be kind of a turnoff for some people. Um, but if you're looking for kind of like a smaller tote, or if it's just something that maybe you're using for work and you're carrying things like your laptop, your notebooks, um, papers, things like that, I think it would make a great tote bag. I think it's a lot of bag for the money. And like I said, I think that that Gucci canvas, monogram, whatever you want to call it, is kind of 
underrated in the world of monograms. I don't think you're gonna look too like, oh my god, look at me and my Gucci bag. I think it's just gonna be a really cute tote bag that you could carry around with you and fit a lot of stuff in. And the last bag that's under the $1,500 price point that I think is just totally worth it. I think I saved the best for last in my opinion and just because I own it, it is the Gucci Marmont like camera style bag. This bag is so beautiful. I'm obsessed with this blush color. Like whoever created this blush color, hats off to you my friend. You killed it. This bag is wonderful. It's a perfect size. It fits literally everything. I'll show you what's in it right now. It's like full of just junk. <laughs> I'm not a very organized person, but it fits my wallet, my card holder, my keys, everything I could possibly need fits in this bag. This beautiful, beautiful, neutral, blushy, I don't even know how to describe this color except that I love it, goes with literally everything. I have yet to find an outfit that this bag does not go with. Um, besides my Pochette Matisse, it's probably my most used bag. I cannot believe how good this bag is for the money that I spent on it. I genuinely cannot recommend this bag enough. I forgot, it's also got a Gigi on the back with this like chevron stitching. The leather is so soft. It feels gushy and squishy in a good way. Even the zipper is like that beautiful color. The gold hardware is like this antique -y gold. If I could marry a Gucci bag, this would be the one for me. I think we would have a very happy life together. And that is it. That's all I have for you today. If you have any other suggestions of bags around this the $1,500 price point or lower, please leave them in the comments down below. I know I'd definitely be interested. I'm sure anybody who's watching this video is probably looking for more recommendations as well. If you have any of these bags that I mentioned in this video, um, because this is the only one that I actually own, and you think that I'm right and that they're totally awesome, or you think I'm wrong and your money should have been spent elsewhere, also leave that in the comments down below. I'm definitely interested to hear. And that's all I got. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!